Hi, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Laura. I post videos once a week, mainly about makeup and sometimes about hair, fashion, lifestyle, beauty, all that good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you guys get updates whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. I've got links for all my social media accounts, affiliate links, discount codes, everything of that nature in the description box below. So I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could follow me there, check those out, use those codes as needed. That would be awesome. Today, I am going to be doing this very natural makeup look. Uh, it's kind of like a no makeup makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I did this, then please keep on watching. So I did very little prep for this video. Wish me luck. Okay, so I collected a couple inspirational photos that I'm sort of basing this off of. I'm gonna do like sort of no makeup makeup look with a twist, like kind of make it a little bit more aesthetic. So uh, let's start with brows. I. I don't think I've ever done my makeup like this before. Like the only thing that came close to this was as I was easing into starting to do my makeup, I would sort of like, I would do one product. And then like, if I was feeling bold, I would add like another product. So I'd start off with like just eyeshadow and that was it. And then I think I added, then I started to add eyeliner and that was it. So eyeshadow, eyeliner. And then eventually I was like, okay, I'm gonna like wear mascara. So I added that so on and so forth. So that was like the closest thing that I've ever done to natural makeup, but I've never actually done like this style of makeup. So I'm really, really nervous about it. So I'm gonna open up the e.l.f. brow pencil. It's in the shade Neutral Brown. I don't know if you can really tell right now because I kind of pluck them and trim them, but my eyebrows naturally are pretty full. Right now they're like a little more sparse. I'm very particular about how I like my eyebrows done. I'm like, I'm not perfect, but I like them completely filled in. I like the sort of like a wearable, like those like fleeky brows. <sighs> so this is going to take like all of my self-control not to like fill them in to the max. So uh, here goes nothing. And normally also when I'm doing my brows, I'll clean them up after with concealer. And I don't think I can really do that in this case, because I really want it to look like I'm not wearing any foundation, concealer, anything like that. So now I'm going towards the center of my brow where it's also a little bit sparse. Okay, it looks very like undone and I'm not sure I'm a fan. So uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna get some brow gel just to kind of set that into place. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 01. This one is the blonde shade, but I find it's, it's pigmented enough that it'll it still shows up even on dark eyebrows and I find like it it's light enough that like when I when I had blonde hair it matched nicely and also I like I don't like eyebrows that are too too dark especially when my hair was lighter I hate that fluffy brow trend, but here we are. Honestly, I think it looks really dumb, but I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, this isn't the primer that I wanted to wear, but I don't think I have the one that I want in my apartment. So this is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer.
right, I'm gonna take a risk like I usually do with makeup and hmm, I think I'm gonna lightly contour. So I'm gonna go into the NYX Wonder Stick and go into the darker side. That one I think has a name, but I can't seem to find it, but whatever, it's the dark, the contour side. And I'm not gonna, like, I'm literally just gonna contour like right, like where my um, sideburns sit. Right now I feel like I look very flat, so I'm just gonna sort of emphasize the hollows of my cheeks. That's literally all I feel comfortable doing. I want a little bit more contour on this side. Now I am going to contour with a warmer shade so it's sort of like bronzing. This was a NYX contour refill, but it's kind of more like a bronzer on me. It's like a very warm contour shade. I'm just trying to show you guys, like I'm just gonna dip in very lightly, tap it. I went a little too low on the side, so I'm just using whatever's left on this foundation brush and just kind of like dialing it back. I feel like the cheekbone on this side sits higher than the one on this side. I feel like I need to contour a little bit more on the side, like a little bit lower. So now I am going to put on a little bit of blush so I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. I find this is a really nice, like, neutral blush. Not good for dark skin tones because I feel like it probably won't show up, but it's it's great for light skin tones and decent on medium skin tones. I've already hit pan. I'm really sad. I got this as the Sephora annual birthday gift a couple years ago, and I'm really sad for when I use this up because... I don't want to spend the money to buy a new one. So if you guys have any dupes for this, I'd love to hear them. I look very rosy, but my complexion is kind of rosy anyways, so it's all right. I'm gonna keep taking risks. I am going to use some of this Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in the shade 01 Shimmering Buff. It's kind of like a goldish based highlighter. I don't want this to look too unnatural, but I feel like this is kind of like the most natural highlighter I have. So I'm just gonna dip in very, very lightly. That's kind of like a natural glow. Also do my brow bone. What's great about having these studio lights is it they're so bright that I can see exactly where the light is hitting my skin and then I'm able to highlight really easily. And actually a pro tip for highlighting is analyze your face if you can stand in front of a window or even outside and just kind of hold up a mirror to your face and look at where the light is hitting you especially if your skin is like oilier or if your face is wet like something to reflect the light and then you can really really see where the light is hitting you and that'll help you highlight and know like where to highlight a lot easier Bags under my eyes are looking a little bit prominent, a bit too prominent for my liking. So I'm gonna just use a little bit of concealer there. All right, and uh, that's 
that's the face mostly done. Dang. Uh, okay, so I am going to now move on to eyes, I think. I am actually going to go back into that contour, the NYX contour refill, and I'm just going to lightly sort of draw in like a transition shade on my crease. I basically want to like intensify that shadow area while also not making it obvious that I'm wearing makeup. That's literally it. So now I'm just going to blend that out. I am going to attempt to put some eyeliner on. Okay, so that's about it. It just it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger while still making it look like I'm not really wearing makeup. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I probably should have looked for brown mascara, but I really like I would never wear that other than you know doing this style of makeup, which I do not do. So I'm just gonna use my normal mascara. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. My lashes are pretty dark, like they're kind of like black, so it shouldn't look too unnatural. And I find this mascara can look like, you know, decently natural, so thought it would be a good match for this. Okay, uh, hmm. okay, the eyes kind of look a little less natural, I feel like. I probably could have done without the eyeliner, but oops, oh well, beginner's mistake. So, okay, two more steps. One, so I am going to go into the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. This one's in the shade Spider Orchid. So this is actually a gift from a friend of mine and my former coworker, Tasha. So if you're watching, thanks girl. It's not quite my lip color, but um, I think it'll be close enough for this. Yep, this is exactly the color that I want. I wanna give myself some freckles, kind of enhance the ones that I have over here and draw on a couple more. Okay, I'm gonna do a combination, I think, of the, the eyeliner and the brow pencil. And I'm just gonna make like light dots and then immediately tap them in. going to dip into the elf contour set and I'm going to go into the the cooler toned shade looking at this I just want to clean up my brows a little bit more so I'm gonna go back in and just kind of like Add a little more structure to the top of my brows. This is the final look. Um, I don't know. It's weird to me. Uh, like it looks to me, it looks like I'm not wearing very much makeup and that's just throwing me off, even though I just spent like probably an hour, hour and a half doing this look. I don't know. It weirds me out. 
Uh, what do you guys think? I like challenging myself and sort of trying something new and getting out of my comfort zone because I am, I wouldn't say I'm like insecure about my skin or anything like that. Like when I started working at my current job, I would wear foundation every day. And because I started in the summer, like my foundation just melted off my skin. So I've sort of gotten into the habit of not wearing very much face makeup. That being said, I'll still do like a bold eye look or something because it's a very creative office. So the fact that I really don't have very much like, I don't have almost any eye makeup on. Uh, my brows aren't done the way I normally do them. I'm not wearing very much like blush or anything. There aren't any pops of color aside from my lip color, which is still very, very neutral. Like it just throws me off completely. I'm not like, I feel like I sound very uncomfortable. I'm not super uncomfortable with this. I don't, I don't mind it. I feel like it looks okay on me. I think I did like, you know, for, for my first time doing this type of makeup, I think I did a pretty good job if I do say so myself. It's weird. It still took me a really long time to do. This might be something that I would wear to work. But other than that, like I just, it's not my personal taste. And I feel like if I'm gonna be spending like an hour, hour and a half on my makeup, then I might as well just do like a really, really bold eye look or something like that. I don't know, do you guys like this look? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.